Camacho family. This is a family that if they can do one thing really well, it's make an entrance. And Hector Camacho Jr. is about to make an entrance. I agree with you though, I think early in the fight is gonna go a long way toward telling us what's gonna happen later. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. And Warren, of course, at 39 years of age, 18 years the senior. And I talked to Hector Camacho Jr. just a few minutes ago and he was talking about the fact that youth will win out over age. He feels that that's the big difference. He's got a three inch height advantage. Camacho, remember, very good at sticking and moving. Let's get to it as we take it to the center of the ring and Thomas Driver. Thomas? Ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for our featured bout and it is brought to you by America Presents. Matchmaker Tom Brown it is sanctioned by the World Boxing Association. President is Gilberto Mendoza, along with the State of Illinois Department of Professional Regulation. The director is Leonard Sherman. Chief Boxing Coordinator is Sean Curtin. Chairman of the board is Phil Siegel. And the administrator is Nick Curaciotis. The executive is Joseph Verdi. And the position at ranks is Dr. Glenn Bynum. The timekeeper is Dave Morrow. And the three judges assigned, scoring on a 10-point must system are Mike Lietta, Jerome Jacobco, and Gordon Volkman. When the bell rings, the referee in charge of the action will be Gino Rodriguez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance, and those of you watching on the Fox Sports Net, it's time for our main event, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA North American Junior Welterweight Championship. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left out of the red corner, he's wearing black trunks with multi-color trim and weighed in at 139 pounds. Hailing from San Antonio, Texas, he has a professional record of 42 wins, 11 losses, with 20 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the challenger, Harold, the Texas Hurricane, Warren. And his opponent, the defending champion fighting out of the blue corner tonight. He's wearing multi-color trunks and weighed in at 138 pounds. Coming to us from Bayamon, Puerto Rico, he is undefeated with 26 wins. No losses, with 15 of those 26 wins coming by right now of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the currently ranked number one contender in the world and reigning WBA North American Junior Welterweight Champion, Hector Macho Macho Junior. Once again, we're going to charge Gino Rodriguez now to get the instructions. Hi, Joe. Okay, you guys, you, uh, you have my instructions? I want you to obey the commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Okay, check it out. Good luck. Here are the ABC Unified Rules. There will not be a three knockdown rule. This is a championship fight. No standing eight count. Fighter will not be able to be saved by the bell in any round. We do score on the 10 point loss system. It's pretty universal now, and only the referee can stop the bot. So after all of that, we're ready to go. Warren has really been paid to play the bloody game that time. Those entrances are still shorter than punch the same in that sometimes. That's true. I think he's going to clock in about half of his <laughs> So Warren, who normally uh, has made a career out of fighting at 130 pounds, coming up uh, not just one weight classification, but two, even though he's ranked as a lightweight. <laughs> But he just feels he's got to take that chance. And, uh, he's a bit savvy. Uh, As always, he's looking way up at their opponent. Camacho at 5'8", uh, Harold only 5'8". Imagine when Harold Ward fought for the Junior Lightweight Championship. He fought uh, Gennaro Hernandez, who's 5'11". Just imagine that sight. Made it awfully tough for him. Hernandez 8 inches taller than him. And he's been going through that his entire career. <laughs> he short for a hundred feet. So the quickness of Camacho. One of the things I really do like about Junior is there is all the flash and all that sort of stuff. But this guy 
I believe not only has the sizzle, he's also got the steak. And I do think he's uh, more serious, quite frankly, about his career than his dad was. Well, I think he's probably much more serious about it. His dad was enormously talented. And my uh, junior here has the chance to prove that he too has it in that regard. He's shown so far everything that would be asked of him as far as talent is concerned. And I think in its own way, that Troy Crane fight, which you and I did, uh, really got his attention. And it got his attention early in his career. And if you're ever going to get knocked down, that's the way to do it. I think we said that night that'll probably be the best thing that happened to him. Yeah. And we talked about it many times. We agree. looking for an opening and starting off uh, fairly slowly but he likes to bring in a, his fight to an opponent and he normally has to because of that size differential that he always faces. Harold has been in there with a lot of world champions, holds a victory over Tom Johnson, Johnson, holds a victory over John Brown, very fine perennial uh, contender in the junior lightweight, lightweight division. Well, I know that uh, Junior is really counting on, on youth to win his fight. Are you ready? You know, Harold just isn't some old man. I mean, he's still ranked number four by two of the sanctioning organizations. Absolutely. And he's absolutely fit, as you can see. He could be quick to get answered if he chooses to dance. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time, 2 minutes 59 seconds of the very first round, your winner by way of knockout, and still WBA North American Junior Welterweight Champion, Hector Macho Camacho Jr. Well, in impressive fashion, he has run his record to 27 up, none down with 16 knockouts, and it came right now at the end of the first round, and it was a brilliantly thrown right hand, and Harold Warren still shakes his head. I don't think he can believe it either, but this guy can, and you can. Hector Camacho Jr. is a big time winner here tonight. Well, the entrance was longer than the fight, as we welcome you back to Grand Victoria Casino here in Elgin, Illinois, and uh, it was cold outside, and it's cold inside for Harold Warren as uh, he leaves the ring now, the victim of a first-round knockout. 
Right now, let's go up to Rich Morata, who is with the winner. Rich? Junior, I thought you weren't supposed to be able to punch. That's what they say, man. I mean, after all, it's my time. And I'm letting go down now. I'm Mach 38. I try the 40s. I got 135. I want to try the best lightweights out there. And after I like that show, right? Prince who? Prince who? Hey, let me ask you a question. Did you really think that you could come out and knock out a veteran like that in the first round? I didn't think I knew. I mean, all go back to training, preparation. I mean, you know, it's right here. And this is where it's at. It's junior time. Well, you showed tonight you got some dynamite in those fists, uh, Junior. Let's take a look at the first round action. Go ahead and tell us exactly what happened in your words. Okay, well, I was trying to do a season ready, and I was seeing what you're trying to do. Um, I have a warrant. I see them faking a lot. Sort of looking, um, shadow moving myself. Fake, that's what I want to come out and fake, see what he does. But I figured I'm coming to hook you right there. That's what happened. The hook you right in the jaw. That's what I'm looking for the hook. I mean, two shot paws. I mean, it happened right in the middle of a floor, yeah, macho man. I mean, he was coming, I seen him coming with the one-two. I thought the hook was coming behind. I seen that right hand cocking up. As soon as he left that right hand go back, ready to cock out through the hook. And it's two time. All right, that may be the best punch that you ever threw. <laughs> that punch I ever threw because of my mother and father, man. I thought it was time. Those lightweights, and those junior watchmen say I want to fight two fighters in one night or two champions in one night. These are my two champions. All right, it's my time. That's a, that's the word from Junior. Let me get Senior in here. Hector, come on over here if we can. What did you think of your son's performance there tonight? Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Multiple time, double time. What did you say to him before this fight tonight? Uh, I just get into him spiritually, you know, and I just go through the motions before the fight. Everything else is the homeboy. He's yeah. doing it. Well, you look jubilant. Mom looks jubilant. Everybody's happy up here. Looks like uh, it have been macho time, now junior time. He came through big time tonight, Barry. Yeah, it was an excellent victory for him, and uh, there was no doubt about it. It uh, was the first flurry of the fight, and a perfectly thrown right hand. You just can't draw it up any better than that. One round knockout for Hector Camacho Jr., and the world is all out in front of him. He can go up, he can go down, he wants to be a champion.